This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another review and today, the Core Class Dinobots. And those are my kid. I bought him for his six year old uh, birthday, the whole set. And uh, I didn't review them individually. I just gonna do a quick whole review. And after that do uh, Volcanicus. Cause usually I don't review my son's gift. Cause I don't know, I, I, I feel like you know, I, I don't want him to feel that I buy him stuff so that I can review it for my channel, even though he's sick. So I, it's in my head. I don't, I, I don't know. But anyway, this time I decided I'm gonna review at least uh, this whole set because it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, there's some good, some bad figures. But uh, you know, Volcanicus, it's not a thing for me. But I know a lot of people enjoy the idea of Dinobots combining. So here goes. But before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now let's roll the intro. So here they are in robot mode and very quickly uh, they all have pretty much the same type of articulation which you know arm movement everything is ball joint legs knee uh, most of them don't have el elbow bends except uh, these two uh, swoop and uh, uh, snarl but uh, you know Grimlock like QC issue you move this very easily out of his socket so that's annoying uh, my kids hate that. You know, it happens. But, I mean, he looks like a fair representation of Grimlock. I mean, the Dinobots are not perfect in this size, you know, compared to the Studio Series 86. But they do the job, you know. Uh, you can tell that this is Grimlock. The head sculpt is actually pretty good. No problem there. I like it. Uh, but, you know, the hands are, you know, they, they don't fold out to be, uh, you know, more... Uh, cartoon accurate it's full of hollowness though hollow leg uh, kind of reminds me of the line that they had the authentics line but the, sh the, the small ones uh, it's kind of like that then we have this guy who's the worst of them all like look at that my legs Charlie Murphy it's, it's terrible it's terrible this joint this I understand what they were going for because of the combined mode but it's terrible. Even my kid, he's like, this is the ugliest one. And he's he's absolutely right. I mean, it's... I'm sure there was a better way to do this. But I mean, you can't... Because of the head sculpt and, you know, the look, you can still tell that this is sludge. It's just so... ugly. Anyway, slag looks okay. Uh, could use a little more paint and details, of course, but looks the part uh, no articulation at the elbow but you do have a nice uh, ratchet for the uh, transformation uh, looks good uh, you know it's hollow most of them are uh, you have the oh my kid forgot to do the the wings there you go so you have you know the whole back and he looks the part snarl snarl again one of the best one uh, really good. I like the paint. Uh, I like the, and at least this time, you know, the legs match the fin, match the tail. You know, no golden. But again, golden. Oops, sorry. You know, gold, 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 yellow. Why? Why? I don't recall this guy being more yellow than the other ones in the show. Or maybe it's the cart. The G1 toy, I, I I don't get it. But anyway, I mean, I'm not gonna paint this one. Uh, Swoop looks good too, nice articulation. Uh, you know, he has elbow articulation, the guns are nice. Uh, of course, they form the hand of the Volcanicus figure. Nice head sculpt. You know, although again in the back, not too bad. And then Scar, Scar is brand new. 
And honestly, I like the Ankylosaurus alt mode, and I think if they would do a Studio Series 86 one, or actually, you know, a Legacy uh, Leader class, I probably would buy it. Uh, the robot mode, this reminds me of Starscream every time. You know, the red with the yellow or gold. This piece here reminds me of Starscream. And even the head sculpt, kind of a seeker head sculpt. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's still an interesting figure. Um, you know, big legs. And then this, you know, the Robocop middle finger thing. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Oh, yeah, and uh, one thing, uh, Snarl, that's his, uh, not Snarl, Slag, that's his tail, but it also is the head of uh, Volcanicus, and it doesn't look half bad. Uh, kind of reminds me of what uh, was in Power of the Prime. So, there you go. So I'm trying to get the focus right, so that looks good. Uh, but you I don't know if you need it to leave it there for the trip the well I guess you do if you want to do the alt mode properly so that you have this tail piece so all right let's uh, put these guys in uh, alt mode all right and now in dino mode I mean Grimlock has a tumor I'm stealing a phrase from uh, Alex Baldwin but he does um, Looks kind of goofy, uh, the mouth doesn't open, there's articulation of the hand, the heads don't move, uh, the hands don't move, the head moves, uh, the legs move, no articulation at the knee of course, so it's kind of very stationary and then you have the gun that you put at the end to do the uh, tail, so I don't know, it's, you know, for kids it's good. Uh, this one's again ugly as hell, like He's, he's so like low, he's a low rider Dinobot. The head doesn't uh, move, um, the legs don't either, uh, he's a brick. Uh, but he, I don't know, the legs are super goofy, uh, these ones are okay. And so yeah, I don't know, this one it's, it's just, the sludge is a miss. Slag, uh, he's a little tall, you know, his belly, there should be something underneath here to make him a little fatter. Uh, mouth opens, so that's cool, but that's because of transformation. Uh, head sculpt's pretty good, the horns, hollow horns, but you know, looks good. Uh, the hands become the legs, uh, and then you put the gun, the tail at the end to do the, uh, the gun to do the tail. Looks kind of okay, but he's too, I don't know, he's too empty underneath. This one, again, the best, uh, you know, except for the arms and the hands sticking out in the back here, he looks really good. And he's the only one to come in with an actual accessory that's just an accessory. Like this is just a sword. There's, you know, storage for it like Studio Series 86, but everything else for every other one, it's uh, kind of, uh, you know, they use it to uh, hold the figure together or, you know, the gun is a tail, kind of like Evil Fusion, uh, but this one doesn't. So I appreciate that. You know, like uh, Swoop here, uh, it's the missiles underneath. And uh, the, uh, the whole look of this guy looks okay, except maybe here, you know, there's big gaps, uh, but they did a good job. Uh, the beak doesn't open, it's kind of hollow underneath here. Uh, colors is good, and the missiles are okay. So, not a bad figure. And him, he's, uh, because I have nothing to compare him to, I like him. Uh, you know, the head, oh, I forgot to close it, there we go. So, nice head sculpt. Uh, not too familiar with uh, if this is accurate to Ankylosaurus, I'm guessing it is. Uh, but the big shell here with the uh, well, it's supposed to be a mace, but uh, this turned out to be a middle finger, but looks good. Nice colors, he shines, he's pretty good. And I left the instructions for the end because I just want to show the, uh, you know, they show you the transformation and everything, but when it comes to Volcanicus, they show you how to do each part, and then they just tell you where to plug it and not how to plug it, because it's fairly easy. So yeah, it says Volcanicus one out of six to three out of six so I guess you can uh, move him around if you want to have uh, 
No, you can't. Why does it say one, two, three? I guess he's just the third one. Because they all have the same kind of logo around, and that's Slag. But I'm guessing it's just because the head of Slag goes in the middle. So, yeah, anyway. All right, so I'm going to put them in limb mode and then uh, assemble them. Just get Okay, so now I'm gonna leave the steps here so that uh, you can see, but this is basically one and two of six at the same time. So they involve uh, Sludge, whose position is amazing. <laughs> it's just weird. And then you have uh, this guy here, but what you have to do is take uh, Slag's gun and put it in the chest uh, hold on, this way, so that those two pinholes are here, and then you take this guy, and you have three pinholes, and then you have three pins, and basically the sludge's head is going to go right in the middle, right here, like this, and then you take the arms, and you have pins here, with the pinhole here, you just close it over and move the wings a bit. Well, the wings, the uh, the back of uh, So you have, oh yeah, and the head is on top. And then you have this. So this kind of looks okay. Kind of. But it's going to get better. After that, so this is step one and two. And then we're going to go with step three uh, which is just uh, Grimlock on this side so you have to make sure when you transform him one side has the wings folded on top of the head and the other one on the side and you have to have that little uh, pin on top and he's fairly stable with the gun in the back to hold the legs together and then you just uh, basically it's just pins going into pinholes just like mommy and daddy and now you take Snarl, which is basically the same thing. Um, actually, they don't show you to do Snarl first, but whatever. This is weird. I'm just going to do Snarl. Uh, same thing. Uh, they tell you to put the sword in the front for some reason. I don't know. Oh, something moved in the back. It's the head of Sludge. So you just put, it's really tight sometimes, but it works. You know what, I'm going to remove this sword here and see if I can do something else with it. And uh, this fell, he's not the most stable of bot, I have to say. So there you go, so we have big red spot right here, it's, everything's gray except you know red right here and then we're gonna go ahead and put the okay scar is on this side so you have the pin here and it's gonna go into the back of the hand here like this so there's you know an articulation here so that's pretty cool and then we're gonna do the same thing with swoop but you want to hold the pin because it folds back uh, in the chest. And the hands are supposed to be just kind of pinned together. But So let's see if I can put the sword here. Ah, there you go. Nope. Ah, remove the hand. All right. So there you go. This is Volcanicus. Not a big fan, I have to say. Either, I mean, you know, there's rotation here, but if you move it too much, it's going to fall off. Um, swoop is just standing still, you know. Uh, but you do have the second hand, uh, which has two fingers up, or two missiles. Uh, you have the middle finger here. And then you could do, well, you do, oh, you do have... Ah, oh, that's actually pretty cool. You have a knee band when you transform him. And here as well. So, but you don't have a back band. But, ah, oh, you can do the knee, knee link pose. 
that's pretty cool. I like that. Not enough robots can do a good kneeling like that. This is cool. Okay, I like this. Kudos to Hasbro on this one. Pretty cool. All right. So now, oh, all right. Well, these parts are not that stable, uh, but you know, it does the job. Come on. All right, let me clean it up off camera. All right, so there you go. That's final look at Volcanicus and it looks okay. I mean, kind of goofy and it's, you know, here the 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 whole leg things are kind of weird but he's stable you know he's solid and there's okay articulation for it kids i mean my kid has been playing with this for a while he doesn't combine him much but he does transform all the core class dinobots uh, relentlessly so and this is not the power of the prime style of combination because grimlock is not at the center and you know they added scar and uh, I think even with the power of the Prime version, they had a six bot that wasn't in the show, but I, I don't know enough about it to really comment. So there you go, guys. Final look at Volcanicus. Overall, I think it's a good concept. Uh, it's probably going to become Dino King down the road. I, I know a lot of people have been asking for that. I personally don't even know who Dino King is. But, um, you know, it's going to be uh, something for the fans, uh, and I think that's worth it. And uh, yeah, I mean, kids love this uh, this thing. I mean, my son has all the Dinobots and he actually has more Dinobots than I do. Uh, so, uh, but I can't wait to have my swoop, uh, but I'll never ask for a combined mode. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.